Wednesday. One life to live. Well, I miss you. How's Jamie? Uh, uh, here, listen for yourself. Oh, poor baby. Yeah, I know. You know, I, I think it's an ear infection. I, uh, I called the pediatrician. Um, well, that's good. Can, can you, um, call me after you hear back from her? Yeah, okay. Um, absolutely. I, I love you. Me too. I miss you. Well, listen, Chicago's not that far away, and I've already written the speech. So, yes, I promise you I'll be there, okay? Bye. Mom. What? You can't fly to Chicago. Baby, it's a conference. It's not a marathon. Besides, I'm giving the keynote speech. Yeah, I don't care if it's the State of the Union. What, are you, are you trying to give yourself another heart attack? You know, when I tried to kiss you like that last time, you ran out of here, and I never thought I'd talk to you. You want another drink? Well, you know, I got a better idea. Why don't we go back to my place? You have one hell of a bitter lungs, little fella. Your great grandma and I heard you all the way over in the West Wing. Well, that's not gonna happen anymore. We just put a bid in on a beautiful new house. That's, that's fine. Move. But, uh, you're not taking ace. Okay, what now? Hello. I'll call security. I'm here to talk about Star. Did you take her to see that shrink? Look, I told you that I would. Yes, I did. And is she gonna be all right? trying to control me. But I'm too smart for that. Am I dangerous too? Yeah, I guess I am. somewhere? Yeah. I'm leaving you. because I went away for a week? I was supposed to go with you until you slipped something into my drink that knocked me out. I'm sorry about that. Oh, you're sorry. I had to go away on urgent business, something very urgent, very personal. Yeah. You went to Mandora. Who told you that? Nobody told me that. Mm -hmm. I found the phone number of your little love nest hotel hideaway written on a pad of paper at Carlota's Diner. Huh? Oh. How about that? By the way, wh what name did you register under, anyway? Uh, what are you talking about? Am I too tame for you? Huh? You had to go back to scary Mr. Whoever the hell he is and relive Adriana's conception? 
Adriana is not my daughter, remember? We made all that up so we could get Aunt Betsy's million. Mm -hmm. What were you doing there? I was protecting Adriana. Protecting her with your naked body? Oh, David, would you relax? I kept my clothes on all the time. Seriously, I, I had to make sure that her father knew nothing about her. Hmm. And I couldn't be there for that. I needed you here to take care of things. To take care of what things? Do I need to spell it out for you? A D R A. Adriana, for goodness sakes, there's a lot at stake here. You won't come. Where is she, by the way? Is she okay? Yeah, I guess so. What do you mean you guess so? Is she okay or isn't she? I'm, uh, I'm staying here. Uh, Natalie, I mean... But what was that kiss? Uh, just a tease? Paul... I, I'm having a lot of fun with you. I mean, that helicopter ride was amazing, but um, I don't think that I'm, I'm ready to go back to your room. John McBain have anything to do with that? No. You know, I, I lost my husband less than a year ago. Well, I'm sorry. I didn't know that. I didn't... No, no. I mean, I, of course. How could you know? And, and it's okay, but you know, being up in the air with you... Land view, it's amazing, and it puts Christian out of my mind for a little while. But then when we landed, you know, it hit me that Chris is still here, and he's not going anywhere for a while. So, you need to deal with that or not. You know, having a little baby run around the house makes it feel like a like a home again. But since you two are moving, take an ace with you. Renee and I'll have to go with you. Um, I don't I don't think that the house we looked at has enough bedrooms. Now you're talking. I had a crew come in and put up a a swing set on the grounds today. It'd be a damn shame if Ace wasn't here to use them. Hi, Chief. Hi, baby. Oh, hi. Uh, so, what do you think? Well, I guess we can't break Ace's heart. Well, it's you I'm worried about. I mean, are you sure you can be in a house surrounded by Buchanan's? You know, Kevin, I didn't have a very good childhood. I didn't really know my father, and my mother was not available to me. She was ill. I want... Ace to have grandparents and great grandparents and aunts and uncles and cousins and brothers and sisters. Yeah. Well, you say that now. <laughs> I think it could be good. Well, what do you think, big guy? Hmm? Oh, what was that? Mommy's always right as ah, usual. He's well, my you son. heard from the man there. Yeah, it looks <laughs> like we're staying. Good. It's obviously upsetting you. Well, apparently... Apparently, Star's classmates at school have been tormenting her, making fun of her, calling her names, calling us names. Todd, she was beat up more times than she let us know about. No, no. Star wouldn't let herself get beat up. Oh, she was... They ganged up on her. She was outnumbered. Do you know what they did? They took our little girl 
to the gym locker room and put her in a locker and didn't let her out until that afternoon. All right, we're going to get out of that just, school. Just wait a minute. No. Wait. She could have suffocated no, in there. No, let me tell you. She, she says she doesn't want to go see Dr. Kozak. Well, then we get her a new doctor. Wait. I think if we just calm down, give her some time, then maybe she'll go see another doctor and even maybe Dr. Kozak. Okay, I'm... I agree. Todd, I... You know, I was so wrapped up in the... that trial. I... I love her so much. I would never forgive myself if she doesn't recover. Don't blame yourself. Whatever happened, it's over. Let's just... Let's concentrate on Star. Yeah. I hope we can. Well, she's a tough little girl. She'll make it through. Yeah. Will you call me? You need me? We'll see. I'll see you. Relax just a little bit, okay? Believe me, I'm doing everything I'm supposed to do. I'm exercising, I'm eating right, taking my medicine. Hey, come on, you went on the walk with me this morning, right? I'm going to get well, but I don't need a watchdog. You know, I'm, I'm delighted that you're here with me. I was kind of hoping it would be a little bit more like, you know, old times and not like hospital care. Yeah, well, what am I supposed to do? My... I'm supposed to... <sighs> Jesse, honey, I'm not going to die. How do you know that? You've been having these heart palpitations for years, and you didn't tell anybody. You've already had one heart attack. A mild one. And I know, one. Mom, I know. I've done the reading. I know your chances of having another one are very high. What, what am I supposed to do if you just... Oh, honey. Come here. My God, you are so afraid. How long do I have to wait? When Mr. Manning gets here. And remember, treat him right and you'll stay happy. Treat him wrong and you'll answer to me. Hey, Mr. Diggs, is this the guy? Harry. Harry McKenzie. Recently of Buchanan Enterprises. Everything you need's in there. All right, you're done good. <laughs> She's so happy. <laughs> Her name is Mrs. Bigelow, and she speaks for me. And if you're smart, you won't cross her. So you got fired from Buchanan Enterprises last week, right? Yeah, it's a total misunderstanding about... Yeah, I know what it was about. I also know you need cash very badly. I also know you're the guy who went to the DA's office about three months ago about some alleged hanky-panky going on at BE. Yeah, it turns out I was wrong. They said there was nothing there. I was hoping for one of those whistleblower lawsuits, you know? I'd have been set for life. Still can be, provided you do what you're told. Interested? Well, sure. All right. This is what I want you to do. I want you to call this man, and you're going to tell him exactly what Mrs. Bigelow... Hey, look at me. What Mrs. Bigelow tells you to tell him. Got it? Like, it's all going to be made up. Lies. That's right. So how's everything else going? Not great, but, you know, hey. Let's talk about you and that new big boy of yours. My new big boy? Mm -hmm. He's a genius. I bet. And he's a little bossy. Yeah, does he tell you what he wants? <laughs> Let's just put it this way. He gets what he wants. Well, that's good, just like his dad. Hardly, come on. I spend most of my life trying to figure out what I want. And now? No question. Look, I want you to be happy, too. I, God I, knows I you am, deserve know, it, seriously. I am. I am. I, I will be. Actually, I can't believe you uh, 
didn't run into Todd out in the hall. He was just here. We we had a very we had a very constructive conversation about our daughter. It was good. You be careful. I know. Look, I'm not going to go there. Yeah, I'll I'm remind not. you you said that. I'm okay, serious. Okay, you can. Kevin, thank you. Thank you for the magazine. Well, you're doing a great job. You're taking it, you're running with it, you're making it something special. It's great. Thanks. Well, I hope that Kelly doesn't have to worry anymore about you and me. I mean, I hope she knows that. Oh, she does. You know, we're, we're a family. Our, our secrets are behind us. So what do you want? Oh, by the way, I had a contact at Landview Hospital do some creative penmanship. Little Ace's blood type now matches Kevin's. Thanks. What if he gets sick? This is what I want you to do. I want you to find out the medical histories of the biological parents. You're going to give them to Mrs. Bigelow. We've got a pediatrician in mind, OK? Don't worry. You can trust him with the truth about little Ace. Why are you doing this? What else do you want? I don't know yet. Didn't go so hard at Ultraviolet last night with Blair. Well, if you're hoping I'm going to be able to help you out with that, as I said before, we're not exactly on speaking terms. Don't worry about that. Look at it this way. There's not much I can do right now to help myself, so I've decided I can help you. Natalie, I like you. I like you a lot. You know, when you give a guy a kiss like that, he starts getting ideas. You know, but this is all up to you. I will right, take it as fast or as slow as you want to. I'm cool with that. Thank you. Hold on one second. Hello. Hey, it's Kelly. Remember when I asked you to contact Ace's biological mother? Hey, Kelly, look, uh, this... No, 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 I, I don't need names. I just need... I need to know about their medical history. Kelly, this is turning out to be a really big mistake. Paul, you saved my marriage. You changed my life. You can't back out now. And if anything happened to Ace, I would die. Please, you have to help me. Fine, you just better remember our deal. You are gonna help me find proof that Adriana's not Dorian's daughter. Listen, uh, I gotta go, okay? okay. <laughs> Did it ever occur to you that taking off might upset me? David, you have no reason to be jealous. Really? Let's see, you slip a Mickey into my drink, and then you fly away to some exotic-sounding country, which I can't find on the map, by the way, and all the while, all I can think about when my head isn't pounding from the drug-induced hangover is that you have fallen into the arms of some mysterious old lover. I love that you're jealous! Oh! <laughs> I'm glad one of us is enjoying this. Oh, come on. Please don't leave me. Honestly, I wasn't with another man. I swear. You swear on what? I swear on my desk, on the family pictures, on the statue, on... My candlestick in your luggage. What's your candlestick doing in my luggage? Never mind, David. Please don't leave me. If you stay candlestick and everything in this room will be yours on one condition you have to set a wedding date mom uh, adriana oh, 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 you're home oh. blair you start working for Todd? Why'd you set me up at Ultraviolet like that last night? He bullied me into it. You know how he can be? Yeah, I know how he can be. What's he got on you? That's the question. He loves you. <laughs> I don't care how much he loves me. I can't live through that again. Well, you don't seem to have much of a life around here.
I didn't expect you to understand, because you're married to Mr. Wonderful. Yes, yeah, so wonderful, you had to sleep with him yourself. Okay, Kelly, you know what I'm warning you. Do not mess with me. I will find out how Todd is pulling your strings, and I'll put an end to it. Jessica, I couldn't do that if you paid me. I know, but we have to get you into shape. Ugh. So just try it again. Try that stretch one more time. And breathe this time. Stop this. You're going to kill her. That's Come ridiculous. On. Please, it's just yoga. I got you a personal trainer. Now call him. I'm a little busy. See, I'm not the only one who cares about you. I was trying to be the nagger rather than the naggy for oh, once. Oh, my Lord. Has it really come to this? I'll get it. Do you call this taking care of yourself? Oh, come on. Would I be sitting on the floor in this ridiculous position if I weren't? Need your help. Is it Blair? Star. Or Ferrari, you can't keep up with me. I think I know what the problem is, too. She's half Blair, half me. Which means she's got troubles. Did you really go to Mandora? Yes, I did. I had to check on your father. Did you see him? No. I did, though, manage to get a photograph of him. Darling. This is your biological father. Sweetheart, if you ever see this man, ever, or if you hear from him, I want you to get to safety and get in touch with me as soon as possible. You really think he'd try to hurt me? Well, no. And, and I'm not trying to scare you, because really, I think he, he doesn't even know that you exist. It's just, well, now that I have you with me, I'm going to always Take very good care of my girl. I missed you. I missed you. Are you all right? Things are weird with River, but um, I know how to handle it now. Are you sure? Because I am very wise when it comes to the ways of the heart. Yeah, as long as it's not her own heart. Thank you, David. He missed me, too. That's why he's planning to leave me. No, you, you can't. David, you love her, and she loves you. Yeah, maybe she used to. Don't mess things up. Talk to each other. She's a very special girl. I'm very proud she's my daughter. <laughs> she is not really your daughter. She's our ticket to 30 million bucks. Is that what you were doing, by the way, investing that money into offshore accounts? Oh, stop it, David. I was trying to protect Adriana. I will believe you as soon as you set a wedding date. Can I change out of my travel clothes first? You can't take off anything until you take out your calendar. Oh, the maiden. Well, and look who is back in Blair's. Oh, goodness. Sweet so time. How are you? I'm better, thank you. You look you look wonderful. You look oh, great, thanks, sweetheart. You look pretty you look great. You're speaking well, of back. great. <laughs> Hello, gorgeous. Who would believe you just had a baby? Oh. Speaking of which, how is that wonderful, adorable He's great. Egg? He's wonderful. He's eating and sleeping and making lots and lots of noise. <laughs> Them Buchanan's. Hell of a guy. I still cannot believe that you called that adorable little baby Asa the second. <laughs> yeah. Must have been Kevin's idea. No, no, Kevin would have come up with something much more original, like Kevin the second. Actually, it was my idea. Brainwashed. <laughs> Sweetheart. Now tell me, are you all right? Of course she's fine. She's got her hands in everybody's business. Already. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually great. Mm -hmm. Great. So, uh, 
I really can't stay, though. I've got to go. I just wanted to say hello. You Blair's still not with here. the news anyway. Blair, I'll call you. Okay, honey. I'll walk Kelly out. Yes. Thank you. Kelly, don't be a stranger. Love you. Okay, Blair. What's going on? Thank you. So did you take Star to see the psychologist? Blair did. Apparently, some kids ganged up on her and stuffed her in a locker and kept her there all day long. Star? Yeah. No wonder she's afraid of the dark. Hey, I know you're sick, but I was hoping maybe you'd go talk to her again. Maybe she'll open up to you. Absolutely, I'd be happy to, but be aware I can't do anything unless Blair agrees. You have every right to see her. Okay, I take it easy. I'm scared, frankly. I know. I offered to help Blair. Shh. She didn't say no, but she didn't exactly say yes either. Okay, you know what? I will call Blair. I'll, I'll talk to her. Have you been taking these? Yes. Jessica even looks under my tongue to make sure I swallow them. Good. You follow the rules. I want you around for when I'm back with Blair. I think I'm flattered. I think that she looks better. Definitely. Don't let that kid out of your sight. Oh, you don't have to worry about that. No. Well, you know, I was supposed to get her started on antibiotics, but she keeps spitting it out. Well, if you make it into a game, then it's kind of easier. Watch. <laughs> there we go. Maybe I should try this on my mom. Hey, how's mom? She's okay so far. Listen, I just want her to stop by and make sure you weren't upset that I asked Jessica to stay with her instead of you. No, I mean, Jessica and Mom are closer, so. Well, that's not the only reason. Um, look, I don't know about you, but I am really scared for Mom. Now, and as usual, she's, you know, acting like everything's okay. Yeah, well, she doesn't upset us. Well, vice versa, but here's the thing. I think that if she knows we're really worried about her, she'll take better care of herself. And... Jessica can admit to Mom that she's afraid. And, you know, I don't know you very well, but I have a feeling that you have a tough time admitting to anyone that you're scared. I sent my picture. You figure it out. What do you mean you never got it? I'm never gonna believe that I'm 15. Blair, I'm sorry I had to run off like that, but I had to do damage control with Adriana's father. So? What's the big news? Dorian, I think Star could be really, really sick. What is with the outfit? Do you think River will like it? <laughs> Any guy would. C can I take your picture? Sure. Okay, come on in. So, what's going on with Dorian and Adriana? Well, it's the heck out of me. I'm completely out of the loop at this point. Well, she's a Kramer, right? Yeah, right. I mean, am I missing something? You know, tell me, why did Dorian go to Mendora after all these years? She said she wanted... Yeah, I know, I know, I know what she said, but... You seem to think that Ace brought you and Kevin closer together. Well, what if Adriana brought Dorian and Geraldo, or whatever the hell his name is, closer together? <laughs> well, for one thing, if that had happened, she wouldn't have come back. Oh. I can think of 30 million reasons she'd come back. You know, I asked her, I asked her to set a wedding date, and she wouldn't. You're just worried about the money. I love Dorian Kelly. Mm, you love her a lot more now that she's rich. 
You know I'm right about that. You know, I don't think either one of us has much room to talk about our secret agendas. I don't know what you're talking about. Kevin and I don't have any secrets. Well, as soon as that happy picture falls apart, I'll be around. Okay, now just one more picture. Now lick your lips and smile. Okay, ready? Good dog. Why, Adriana, look at you. I think she looks really cool. You know what, actually, she kind of looks like you in all those old pictures. Do I really? Star, I think that's the nicest thing you've ever said about me. <laughs> Why, I think you look beautiful, Adriana, but then I think you always do look beautiful. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. I'll see you later, Star. Bye. Uh, Star, your, your mother just told me about this voice that you've been hearing. You know, actually, it's going away. You know, sometimes things like that don't go away that easily. How do you know that? I'm claustrophobic. Do you know what that is? Yeah, you're afraid of small places. Oh, I can't abide them. I have these awful panic attacks. I, I scream. I, I wish I were dead. So what do you do when that happens? Basically, I just scream. Mm, I don't. You are braver than I am. Not always. You are a true Kramer. And whatever bad things may happen to the Kramer women, they have courage. Yeah, but I'm also a manning like my father. Of course you are. So, even though you might be afraid sometimes, just know nothing's more important to me than my family. Nothing. You ever need me, I'm here for you. photos I wanted to get to him. Oh, well, uh, give something to Natalie while you're at it. Okay. All right? I gotta go. I'll see you tonight. Okay, love you. I love you, too. died of natural causes, and I think that Adriana is Dorian's daughter. So that's all you're gonna do? Look, I I tried. Listen, I mean, I think that they're telling the truth. They didn't do anything wrong. You gotta let this go. Oh, you know what? I didn't go through all of this trouble just so you can let it go. I did my part. I'm sorry it didn't work out the way you wanted it to. you a basket of heart-healthy foods. Oh, thank you. That's very sweet. 
I'm sorry that I was away. Are you all right? I really would have liked to have been informed. No, no, I'm, I'm fine. I Believe me, I've been so busy. Everybody's taking such good care of me. Well, no, I really do appreciate this. Thank you. Mm -hmm. If I had a serious heart condition, I probably would also be making light of it, especially with my family. Yeah, well, it's not really working. Have you admitted to yourself how serious it is? You know, Dorian, odd as this may sound, you're probably the only person I could tell this to. Yeah, I, I, I have admitted it, and I'm frightened. I'm very, very frightened. Thank you. Star? Star? He knows his story backwards and forwards. Buchanan Enterprises is headed for trouble. Is that a fact? Fact. All right, when's McKenzie meet with that cop? Well, he'll call tomorrow for a meet, and then he'll hire the lawyer. Are you sure this is going to work? Mr. Manning, when have I ever not done a job to your satisfaction? Never. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, God. I need you to get to the hospital right now. It, it's Star. Stay tuned for scenes from the next. What like to live? You listen to me, Manning. You're going to be real sorry you admit me. Don't you tell me that you're taking him back. Maybe he can't admit his own feelings, even to himself. Catherine, what are you doing here? I didn't know where else to turn.